Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Steve Breach coming to you. I had an awesome wrestling collection placed in my lap today. Uh, it turns out my buddy and a customer at my work uh, were sort of talking about uh, about me behind my back in a good way, and uh, it paid off huge. A, a guy has been coming into our work buying a lot of food lately. It's a new customer that we haven't seen in a while. And uh, my buddy, just through talking to him, found out that he makes food videos on YouTube. And through that, he decided to take a shot at me <laughs> behind my back and uh, said, hey, my buddy Steve, uh, you've probably have, uh, seen him a lot, uh, the other guy that works here, um, he makes videos on YouTube also that intrigued this guy to ask what kind of videos they were. My buddy, uh, being the funny guy he is, asked him, do you like oiled up men in spandex? Uh, <laughs> that was his way of telling him that I made wrestling videos. I'm sure a lot of people out here would be... Uh, really scared that they found out people they went to school with or people they went to work with made their videos. I've always chosen to tell people up front that I'm a wrestling fan, that I make wrestling videos, that way it can't be used against me in um, any other way. Well, this guy turns out he was a wrestling fan before, and he had some stuff that he needed to get rid of, and he was just waiting for the perfect person to drop it off on. I was that guy. I am that lucky. Today was my Disneyland, it was my Christmas, it was everything. I marked out hard for this more than anything I've marked out for in the longest time. This was the easiest way to make me happy. I had these as I was a kid growing up when I was 10 years old, thought they were the Bible. And um, I don't know, let's get down to it and let me show it off. He gave me a whole collection of WWF magazines from the early 90s. This is March of 1990. This is a Hulk Hogan one. This one is probably in the worst condition of all of them. It's a little bit messed up. Probably on the bottom of the pile. The cover's actually pushed over a little bit. These things are awesome. They still have the old merchandise catalogs in there. You, know, you can uh, get one of these Hulk Rules shirts uh, right there for you. Everybody had one of those growing up as a kid. Some of these have random posters. This is a Legion of Doom one. I don't think it was uh, from this one, but it was just... Uh, tossed in there. I was able to tell him what articles were in each magazine as I was flipping through them. I was loving every minute of it. This right here is a uh, WrestleMania 6 countdown from June of 1990 with Ultimate Warrior holding both belts up there. I was honestly trying to get freaking 88 or Luke Cage to buy this off of eBay. I remember this was easily, I think, in the $20 range, and uh, this guy was just dying to get rid of them. Look at the ads. They have real ads in WF Magazine, not the crap that they put out today. Look at that. Mountain Dew ads, video game ads, Halls. You think Halls wants to you know, put ads in WFE Magazine now? I don't think so. Uh, so. This is from November of 1990. We have the Ultimate Warrior in great condition. Got a classic Nintendo game ad on the back. Can't go wrong with that. This one. Awesome. Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Eric cover there, winning the Intercontinental title. Um, the, and the next few ones are all Intercontinental Championship, guys. I'm looking at the next one here. Look how they, they have classic, just normal 8x10 shots. They don't put a whole bunch of crappy computer graphics. I remember I made a video about the old uh, the Undertaker WrestleMania cover where it looks like his head's on fire. I told him that picture. I told you guys that that picture made me embarrassed to be a wrestling fan. Another classic Nintendo ad on the back. Um, this right here was my favorite cover growing up. Mr. Perfect as a heel was always one of my favorite guys. I didn't understand until later that the reason why I like Mr. Perfect so much is I like classic real wrestling and he was one of the guys that gave it to me. Uh, right there, got an ad for the Punisher on the back for you. One of these I want to make sure that I um, show you the stuff. Um, uh, the, the stories that are inside, because some of them are great. This is from February of 1991. Uh, the Survivor Series countdown. Look how far behind the magazine was to anything else. This is February, showing you what happened in November. And sometimes this was the only way to find out what happened in a few matches, because they wouldn't do updates on TV, and you were still waiting for the tapes to come out. Um, but right there, you have Hogan and the Warrior. Uh, Survivor Series 1990 is one of my favorite uh, Survivor Series, so this one's really cool to have back of them. Has the WrestleMania Challenge Nintendo game ad on there for you. Oh, even Tito Santana makes an appearance on there for you. So right there, you got a whole bunch of Ultimate Warrior covers in a row, just like you had Mr. Perfect and Kerry Von Eric. So it wasn't like you just had the, your main event guys on there for you. The Rockers. When was the last time a tag team was on the cover of WB Magazine? Never. I can't remember it. 
Add for the Royal Rumble on the back. Is this about the breakup of the Rockers? Or is this just hyping them up? I don't know. But also in these, I found these really funny. They have travel package ads for WrestleMania 7. Where was WrestleMania 7? I don't know. But it wasn't in the Coliseum like these ads are for. It's really bitching cool stuff. All of these still have the old school t-shirt catalogs in there. I think that was my favorite thing to look at when he was busting these open for me. Got rundowns on the big boss, man. You can't go wrong with this. Jim, nah, eat your heart out. You ain't got nothing like this anymore. A uh, really cool cover here for you. April of 1991. This one is just dying for, I don't know when the hell I'll ever meet Hulk Hogan. But that's an awesome cover to get signed right there for you. Um, June of 1991. This is a uh, countdown at WrestleMania 7. You got a whole bunch of pictures on there for you. You got uh, Slaughter and Hogan. You got Warrior. You got Perfect Elizabeth. You got the Nasty Boys on there. Andre the Giant and Mr. Perfect. Oh, Rick Martel. Yeah, Jake the Snake. Blindfold match. Um, this right here. What is this? This is for, oh, oh pay-per-view. The hot ticket. I remember these. WrestleMania's History's Heroes. I uh, can't go wrong with that. This might be his first cover he ever had. The Undertaker, May of 1991. Uh, got a Game Boy ad on the back for Superstars with the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, really sick cover there for you. July of 1991. Just a candid 8x10 shot. No need for computer graphics or anything like that for you. Really bitching cover. What's the ad on the back? We got some sort of NBA game for the Game Boy as well. I had that game, All-Star Challenge. It sucked. You could play one-on-one, -on -one and you could play five-on-five, -five, and um, it was horrible. They had one guy from each team. No, you couldn't go five-on-five. -five. That's all it was. It was just a one-on-one -on -one slam dunk challenge and a three-point shot. Davy Boy Smith Classic. Summer Slam, 1991. My favorite pay-per-view of all time. Add there on the back for you. One of these is the ones coming up, because it's just the next WrestleMania, which is the one. Right there, sick ass cover. This is one I remember when I was a kid. Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Match Made in Heaven, Match Made in Hell ad right there for you. Can't go wrong with that. Um, so it's after this one, because I remember it was that one right here. You got another Undertaker one, January 1992. A headline The Rockers Alliance crumbling right before the breakup of the Rockers. Although the magazine was really late to come out, like I said before, so um, more than likely it already had happened. Wolverine ad on the back. Damn, I used to love this magazine as I was a kid. Um, right there for you. Ric Flair, WWF Championship. Look at all the contenders in the background. You got Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, Roddy Piper, Sid. Uh, I guess he was Sid Justice then. And uh, The Undertaker, Miss Elizabeth in the top-hand corner. Um, WWF Rampage, exclusive European report. What's on the back? The History of WrestleMania magazine. I bet that was pretty awesome. Uh, this is a WrestleMania 7 preview. Ric Flair shocks with the world with Elizabeth photos. Savage Wild. This is the one right here. This was awesome. I remember yelling at the magazine when I was a kid over these pictures that Miss Elizabeth would cheat on the Macho Man so soon after getting married. Uh, right there, you got the pictures. There they are, poolside eating strawberries. Uh, Key was, look at all the pictures real well. They have the R there on the towel for Ric Flair. Uh, there they are, you know, chilling out, watching some TV. I gotta go pretty fast because I'm at eight minutes. I think these stop at ten. Uh, right here we got a Miss Elizabeth cover. Can't go wrong with that one. Really awesome one. I think this out of the ones when we were trying to find Yaya yeah, yeah, and Luke Cage. I think they were saying this was their favorite one. This is from um, July of '92. Uh, right there, another British Bulldog one. Same as the Bulldog, just normal eight by ten shots. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, Bret Hart putting a sharpshooter on there. That's how you put a sharpshooter on Rock. Not that weak-ass one you put on there. Uh, Survivor Series ad on the back with Macho Man and Warrior. That never happened. Um, then this one right here, December of 92, Shawn Michaels. Grandma, I hate that guy. He's gay. I don't know what gay is, but he's it, and I hate him. Stevie, we don't use words like hate. No, Grandma, you don't understand. I hate that guy. Uh, right here, these are wrestling spotlights. He had these. I think this is what they sold like as uh, promotional uh, programs when you went to the shows because I don't really 100% remember them, but I think I've seen them in the past. You got one on the rockers right there for you. It's all rocker stuff all through the, throughout the whole magazine. Another one right here, Hot Rod, Roddy Piper. And uh, he had this book also, just a normal book. Old, but the pages are sort of falling out, but just 8x10s and just little stuff on everybody. I'm marked out hard for that. 
Hopefully everybody really liked it. Maybe if somebody will send a video response of their magazine collection. Uh, Stevie Breach, thank you very much.